claim in our top story tonight. A fifth victim has been found dead in the Friday shooting and house explosion in Santa Maria. Two of the victims now identified as 70 year old Kurt Brackey and 78 year old Richard Hannon. KSBI reporter Asia Gore was on the scene and joins us in the newsroom with the latest. Asia. Well, Dustin and Melissa, police do believe the shooter died in the house fire, but they've yet to positively identify the bodies found in that home because they're so badly burned. Can't believe that something like this uh, could happen, you know, here in this peaceful neighborhood. The charred remains of this home and the absence of the souls who once lived here are all that's left of a day of chaos. I noticed this big fire out here and a bunch of bullets popping off that were inside the house. The quiet air of this Casa Grande Senior Mobile Estates neighborhood pierced by the sound of gun blasts, raging flames and helicopters overhead. Santa Maria Police Lieutenant Russ Mangle says the first officer arrived on scene just seconds after Richard Hannon and Kurt Brackey were gunned down at the clubhouse. He was here in under 30 seconds. We kind of suspect he came in and made the choice um, to confront the gunman by himself. Despite the officer's quick response, police say the suspected shooter fled to his home at 407 Taylor, setting a fire that killed himself and two others. It was sending shrapnel and debris all over the street where we're standing now. That continued for a couple hours as officers and firefighters remained on scene. Looking on at the blackened remains, those who knew the victims and the suspected killer attempt to process. He was always angry. He was, he had issues and uh, he really didn't know how to handle them. Kalani Young met the suspected shooter through her job with the food bank. Her impression of the man echoed by many. We've been talking to everybody that had encountered him here in the park and we're, we're getting a, a story that, yeah, there was uh, some difficulty in the relationship with the individual and that may hold some answers as to why the events occurred yesterday. The explosive fire destroyed three homes and seriously damaged a fourth. Neighbors tell me one of those homes was just sold to a new owner. In the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSPY News. Asia, thank you. Lieutenant Mango could not find any prior police calls to the suspect's home. A motive has not yet been determined.